Today, Grand Rapids Public Schools will return to the classroom for the first time in nearly a year. The district is moving to a hybrid plan with students spending half their time in class and half their time online learning. And while kids were at home, the district upgraded school ventilation systems, sanitation centers and PPE supplies. Classrooms have also been rearranged to account for social distancing. By March 1st, the state intends for all schools to return to in person learning and for more on the return to in person and learning. We are happy to be joined this morning by Grand Rapids Superintendent Ladrian Roby and good morning Dr. Roby. I wanted to start first of all by asking you how are you feeling this morning about having students return in person and what should parents expect today? I am so excited for our students as well as our families and our, our entire Grand Rapids community. We are ready for this. Um, what parents and students can expect First day of school, so first day jitters, finding your classrooms, doing welcome activities, but getting right to learning. It, we expect it to be a very positive day, a very fun day, a very upbeat day. Wonderful. And Dr. Roby, do you have any concerns about parents or students not feeling comfortable with coming to school and that perhaps affecting their attendance? No, um, I think our families and our community has communicated very strongly that they are ready to come back to school. We had approximately 70% of our students and families say that they wanted to have an in-person learning experience. And of course, it's school, so you know there will be bumps in the road, ups and downs, but our staff and our community, we're ready for it. We have plans and we have plans on top of plans to ensure that it's a positive, successful experience for our young people. Wonderful. And the district has been uh, solely in virtual learning now for many months. How worried are you that some students may have fallen behind during the pandemic? And what is the district doing to help those students? Sure, that's a real concern. Obviously, um, our teachers and our staff have been very adaptable. They've been very creative as they've created a virtual learning instructional model for our students, but there's nothing like that in-person learning where students and, and teachers are connecting, they're getting to know one another, they're able to build relationships, and when you have relationships, you can ask questions, and we are, of course, going to continue to accelerate our learning experiences. We expect to onboard our after-school programming in the coming weeks to help students who may have fallen behind or want that additional support, they have the opportunity for that. Dr. Roby, thank you so much for joining us this morning on what certainly is an exciting morning for the district. We certainly wish everyone well as they head back to class. Thank you, and we wish everybody a happy first day in Grand Rapids Public Schools. Thank you, Dr. Roby. Well,